Hello and welcome to a little bit of a bug report and or cry for help. Either works because I can't seem to fix this. The problem is that RTX voice is adding pops and clicks to my voice whenever I'm recording. Which is ironic because that's what it's kind of supposed to remove, I guess. Not quite, but oh well. It does remove uh, keyboard sounds and mouse sounds and joystick sounds and all of that, but it adds pops and clicks. It also adds uh, white noise, but I will be talking about that separately later in this video. The music in the background is Lawbreakers, and uh, the setup I have here is the Scarlet Solo being recorded on its own right there, that one, and also being recorded while it's going through RTX Voice right there. They have the same filters uh, in OBS. I have Reefer, Gain, Compressor, and High PS. Because I don't, uh, my voice is kind of bassy just by itself. Anyway, uh, that's neither here nor there. The problem is that, actually, you know what, before I talk about that, let's uh, hear a comparison. And I'm just going to babble for a little bit and talk about nothing. Actually, I'm going to talk about talking, which is weird, but there we go. And uh, I'm going to let it be recorded with both RTX Voice and Scarlet Solo alone, and then I'm going to loop it for you. And I'm just going to babble for a little bit and talk about nothing. Actually, I'm going to talk about talking, which is weird, but there we go. And uh, I'm going to let it be recorded with both RTX Voice and Scarlet Solo alone, and then I'm going to loop it for you. And there we go. You can clearly hear the difference, right? So normally the way you would fix something like uh, popping and crackles and the, the like is to increase the buffer size for the audio. The problem is that uh, the buffer keeps getting maxed out and the CPU can't clear it fast enough so that some of the, well, some of the audio just get, goes missing uh, or something like that. I'm not an audio expert as we can clearly established with this video but if I go in here it's maxed out and honestly I mean it, it the problem here is if I go to 160 it disappears for about half an hour to an hour if I go to a, a thousand twenty four it appears immediately the bug that is the popping and crackling right and if I go to 16, it returns within 15 minutes, roughly. So there's like a sweet spot at around 160 where it stays away the longest. I'm going to switch that, but that will uh, disable recording for a few seconds. Hold on. And there we go, probably. Yeah, there we go. And let's switch to that uh, again. So now it sounds good but only for about half an hour to an hour. So I can't ever relax about it. I can't restart my computer and go, oh, there's no, uh, no popping. Great. I can record now. Because it's going to go back uh, within an hour. And yeah, that's, I mean, the temporary solution I've come up with is to record both and just like in post, um, while I'm editing, when the popping reappears, I can just switch to the Scarlet Solo on its own. But I like not having to hear my keyboard or mouse and all of that noise. Also, another thing I noticed is that when I go into Reefer here and I get this, and also let's do it with the other one as well. There we go. All right, uh, let's remove that. Done. Good. Now, Reefer is a plugin that will take all of the ambient noise and remove it, essentially. So anything under this red line doesn't appear in your recording. And you can even, like, move it slightly if you want it to be a little bit more assertive. Yeah, that sounds good. I also don't know what that little peak is coming from. That's been bothering me. Uh, anyway, neither here nor there. The problem is that even if I have RTX uh, or Reefer working on the RTX input here, 
or output, depending on how you look at it, it doesn't actually remove the white noise. There. RTX voice will remove uh, like background noise, but not while you're talking as much, especially not the ambient white noise. And it will remove keyboard clicks and all of that very well, even if you're talking. But this white noise, I can clearly hear it in my headphones if I'm monitoring my uh, inputs. And it's a little bit annoying. And like, Normally, on this, it's quiet as a mouse when uh, Reefer is running and I'm recording, or not when I'm monitoring just the ambient noise in the room. But it doesn't do the same thing for the RTX voice input, and I have no idea why. It should, but it ain't. Even though the red line is clearly above the gray, nope. On the other hand, you can see the yellow line here, which is what it's detecting, sort of. And it's gone on the RTX voice one, so it does do something. I just don't... Uh, not enough, I guess. On the other hand, RTX voice is something very new, uh, so it's not perfect yet. Maybe it will be one day. But, uh, like, I see people on YouTube having, like, perfect audio with RDX voice, and I can't replicate it for some reason. And it's a bit frustrating. So, yeah, that's the cry for help. One, how do I remove the crackles and pops permanently? And, uh, like, if I'm dumb, please tell me. Like, show me what I've set up wrong, and if this is a new thing that, uh, others have problems with, you know, let's try to think of something together, I guess. Not that I would be much help, more than what I've been doing in this video. And uh, yeah, with that, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, maybe I'll see you next time.